Hi, so my name is Tucker Nichols. I'm a visual artist. The work world is largely uncharted territory for artists. And um, as much as I like to show my work in galleries and be a part of the art world, I really enjoy, enjoy doing projects in corporate environments as well. These first few slides are from some recent um, commissions that I've done uh, private, for private companies. This is for uh, the studios of Eve Bahar's Fuse Project. And this is for the, the offices at Aleph, uh, the company that makes the Jawbone Bluetooth headset. And basically the way these commissions work is I go in for a month or two and sort of fake work at the company. I sit in on important meetings and interview employees and and linger in the break room and pick through their Xerox bin and sort of try to find various little bits that uh, speak to me about what they do and what it really is that they do. And then I use these bits uh, to create wall drawings and mural forms that sort of look like brainstorming sessions gone horribly wrong. <laughs> the, um, one of the things that happens in these, which I find is quite amazing, is that it's through this tool, this very unscientific tool of art, that I've been able to get at some questions that um, really get at the core of what people are doing and why they work there. And I've just been amazed. You know, the corporate world is, the offices are a place where most of us spend most of our time. And yet it's largely unexamined from an artist's point of view. And I've been finding that that tool is really an interesting one for drawing out conversations that people wouldn't have otherwise. This is also from Alan. So, um, the project that I really want to talk to you about today is, a, is a, another business-related art project called Anonymous Postcard. An Anonymous Postcard is basically a suggestion box for the world. It's a civic project, and basically it's a way, it's a, it's a service that's designed to allow anyone in the world to express feedback to anything, person, or company in the world. So basically, people will submit a claim onto the website at anonymouspostcard.org. I sift through the claims, and when I find a claim that uh, resonates with me, that I think has some sort of civic merit to it, then I take on the case, I make a postcard that vaguely, you know, represents what the claim is about, and then I figure out the single best person in the world to field this claim and send it to them as a postcard. And then I document all that on the website so that the claimant, the recipient, and the public who have started to watch this whole thing can all share it. And as it turns out, people have a lot of feedback about a lot of different things. It's been really exciting to see what people have to say. So I'm just going to share a couple from here. This, this is a, um, a claim that was submitted a few months ago to capitalism, and the claim just said, I still think you're okay. <laughs> this is a claim to Apple, and the claim said, I'm tortured by the inexplicably short power cord that comes with the MacBook. <laughs> a wireless connection is pointless when one must remain tethered to a wall by an apparatus no longer than an umbilical cord. <laughs> While you might enjoy working underneath the reception desk, just outside the public restroom, or on the sink next to the coffee maker, chances are that the rest of your clientele does not. <laughs> this is to In-N-Out Burger. I love your burgers, and your fries are pretty phenomenal as well. I don't know anyone who has ever eaten one of your burgers who doesn't agree with me. They're so good I overlook the biblical references on your packaging. <laughs> I would probably eat at an In-N-Out burger at least once a week if the 1,633 mile, 24 hour and 14 minute drive to your nearest location in Washington City, Utah from Chicago where I live weren't so inconvenient. <laughs> I'm not asking you to be Starbucks, but spread the love a little. <laughs> this one is to Carl Johnson, the CEO of Matrix Incorporated, the makers of Zycam. My sister lost her sense of smell from spraying Zycram nasal gel up her nose to prevent a cold. Subsequent doctor visits and internet searches have led to the discovery that this has happened to many, many individuals, including the 340 who have filed a class action suit. We know it's difficult to prove since the nasal nerves are microscopic, and we know you skirt FDA, FDA regulation by marketing your product as homeopathic. 
We also know your competitor was ethical enough to remove their similar product from the marketplace. We wonder if you'd spray this stuff up your nose and your children's noses. Then I received another claim to capitalism. It said, I always knew you were a dirtbag. <laughs> this one is to SpaghettiOs. Thank you for creating the most delicious round ring noodles on the history of the planet. <laughs> and lastly, this is today's claim. This is to the Berkeley YMCA. It says, I love Berkeley. And I get it that part of what makes it great here is that people have a little more leeway to let it all hang out and do their own thing. <laughs> I love that. And, and I also love the Berkeley YMCA. You guys are the best. What I'm a little less in love with is the wild-eyed, grunting, gesticulating guy who does naked Bikram yoga in the crowded steam room. <laughs> Thank you very much.